The Datsun 240Z, it began nearly five generations of Z cars that we've all known and loved. It was introduced as the S30 back in 1969, released as a 1970 model. The car was race-inspired with a chain-driven overhead cam engine, twin SU carbs, front disc brakes, and four-wheel independent suspension. The car was race-inspired, but also did that on the track, winning the SCCA C-Car Championship twice. Some say the 240Z was styled after the Jaguar E-Type. To me, uh, it seems relatively unique for the, for the period. Its sloping front end and its squared-off rear hatch created an iconic style that few people don't recognize today. Its interior featured two roomy, contoured, fully reclining bucket seats. Uh, it had optional automatic transmission as well as air conditioning and a easy accessible rear hatch that had significant luggage room uh, for two. The engine was a single overhead cam, straight six, developing 151 horsepower easily revving to its 7,000 RPM redline, capable of taking the car from 0 to 60 in 8 seconds and a top speed of 125. So we all agree that the 240Z made a heck of a splash back in the early 70s, but how are they holding up today from a value perspective? We recently went to an auction, and there were several early 240Zs in varying conditions for sale. We will look at those cars and then watch them cross the block to see their value. Haggard evaluation, I picked the 72, is between 10,000 and 79. I'll have to look the lot up on this car and see what it went for, but looks like a very nice car can't tell the year let's see if we can then so it's k156 which is a saturday car uh 72 240z it's a nice interior looks at original ac car or maybe vintage air ac car good solid dash This car, in my opinion, was a 2 plus, and it sold for just under concourse value, which in my mind was a strong market number for this car. Very nice. So this is a 1972. It says nut and bolt restoration, 54,000 miles. Matching numbers, although that's not as critical and not as rare. Uh, Nice silver red interior. I like that combination. Uh, period correct replacement stereo cas cassette, which anybody would have done back in the day. Um, nice paint. Engine. Very nice. Looks like the engine's probably been out. Engine bay's been repainted. We get some good shots of this. So original. Uh, smog control on it. Which, so this is a very nice one. We'll see. Sold. We'll see what it sold for. If it got close to its estimate, that'd be pretty decent. This silver car was a solid two, in my opinion, because it was an older restoration, but a complete restoration. So it also demanded a strong market number. 1971, 240Z, four-speed. Uh, got a lot of new suspension components on it. Uh, I looked at the engine. Um, 
nice and original. Looks like most of the pollution control has been pulled off of it. Non-AC car. Paint looks to be pretty good. Interior looks to be original. I'm not crazy about the color of that seat. It looks a little washed out. Um, but overall, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice car. G245 71 240Z in line six and a fourth we know reserve. Somebody get 30, how's anybody get 30, 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 anybody it was a Wednesday car, and I think it got below market at 22000 So this car... Very nice, other than the paint has rust spots on it. Oh, wow. Anybody get 32? I have 30,000. Anybody get 32? Lot G, 22671 Dotson, 240Z, and line 6 and an automatic. How much is Somebody get 30,000. Anybody get 30? 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 Anybody get 12? Anybody get 21? I have 20. Anybody get 1? Anybody get 1? Anybody get 20? 21? Sold. 20,000. Anybody get 30,000? The Red 72, in my opinion, was a weak three, primarily because of the poor prep work and the paint and the signs of rust. So I think it was about right at $22,000. The white 73 was a, a three as far as the condition, but because of originality, it demanded a higher market price.
1970 silver car uh, was probably a four, in my opinion. And the reason that it did better, I think, was because it was bought by someone on the internet who couldn't see the flaws in the paint. So we all love our 240Zs, and it looks like the market is finally starting to appreciate them. <laughs> <laughs>